So here you are, you made a Discord server and you're ready to welcome new members. But you also heard that in order for a server to be functional, it needs some bots. Those are useful for security, organization, automation, but also entertainment. So here's a list of Discord bots you might need for your brand new Discord server. Probably the most popular Discord bot is Me6. You can find it at me6.xyz and it's just a pretty decent, well-rounded Discord bot. It is also the only Discord bot that I've ever paid for. And overall, I just like how easy it is to use. Some of the features I personally use are the welcome and goodbye. You can automatically say hi to a new member and you can also log when they leave. So basically you can make it post something in a channel when someone leaves, but you know, in my case, I keep that channel private because that would be like unhinged behavior. You can also display a custom welcome card when they join. Another feature I like to use is the level up. Basically people gain points by typing and interacting in your server and it levels them up and they can check out their rank from a leaderboard. Usually the rank card will look something like this. So that's great to get people to interact more. A new feature they just added is adding emojis to your server directly from the Me6 website. So you no longer have to download a bunch of emojis from a website, go to your server, upload them one by one. You can just come here and just turn one on, turn one on, turn one on, and it'll appear. Let's try this one, Ubu Cat. All right, it says enabled in your server. And as you can see, it was added here and I can see it in my list. But anyways, all that to say that Me6 has a bunch of stuff. It can moderate your server. You can set up reaction roles. So people click on a reaction in order to get a certain role. You can create some invite trackers. So you can basically track how many people are going to click and join from a specific invite link. So if you have a paid server, for example, and you want people to be some affiliates, you can absolutely track how many people join through one single invite or through one person. You can set up polls, embeds, you can record voice conversations, set up reminders. Another feature I use a lot is the YouTube alerts. Basically, it will tell you when those channels post a brand new video. Keeping in mind that it also has, keeping in mind that it also has Twitch, TikTok, X, Blue Sky, or YouTube, Reddit, Instagram, and RSS feed, and also kick alerts. You can set up birthdays. And if you don't have access to Discord's monetization system, Me6 has its own monetization system, which actually came before the Discord monetization system. So I'm talking about Me6 the most because that's the one that seemed the most worth it. And that's also the one that I paid for. That's the one that I use the most. And that has the most features that I personally want in my server. That being said, that is the biggest con. A lot of the features, or you'll see like the yellow thing. A lot of the features are behind that paywall and you need to have premium in order to use them. There's a couple that are free, but most likely a lot of things that you'll want to do will be stuck behind that paywall and you will have to use a different bot, a different free version of another bot to do those things. So it is not without flaws. If you have premium, you're good. Most of the things you want to do, it'll do it. But if you don't, then you need to have multiple bots to achieve like a full Discord bot system. Oh yeah, it has this weird thing about AI characters. So if you want your members to speak to an AI version of a famous Famous character. That's a thing. I've never used anything AI that really has to do with me six, to be fair. Again, not trying to convince you to pay it. I'm basically telling you this is only worth it if you're going to pay for it. I paid 89 euros, like about a hundred dollars for a lifetime plan, meaning it's not recurring. It's not a subscription. It's lifetime, even though it says 2038, that better not expire in 2038. Another popular one is Dino, and you've probably seen it on a bunch of servers. And personally, this one is great for moderation. That's mostly what I use it for. I stream on Twitch and I used to have a public server where people would come in and sometimes Sometimes I would get hate raided from Twitch and then they would spill into my Discord and basically spam a bunch of hateful stuff. And I really needed something strong, robust that would prevent all of that. So I ended up going with a very, very strict version of Dino that wouldn't even allow you to put too many emojis back to back or full caps like happy birthday twice. <laughs> but that's exactly what I like it for. So before I was paying for Me6, I also had a bunch of bots to do multiple things. Dino was like my moderation thing because it had a lot of automatic things for moderation. For example, if someone is spamming a little too much, it can warn the person. It can be like, hey, stop spamming and then warn them again before kicking them or things like that. It would also log every action. So if it kicks or bends or mute someone or whatever, you can have it post that on a private channel. Look at that. It has a soft bend feature where it basically bans a member and then immediately unbans them 
to delete uh, the previous messages. Mod logs, pretty important, especially on a big, big server. You get a list of moderation logs from a user. So you can find out if anyone has already been, you know, warned or kicked or banned, if they had any problems in the server. So you can basically detect who is problematic and then you can decide how to punish that. <laughs> but of course, just like every other bot, it's actually uh, very versatile. There's some fun stuff like flipping a coin that you can do. Get info about the space station. Get a random dad joke. But to me, Dino is like that strict bot. That's all that's all I use it for. There's a League of Legends integration. They also have a pretty in-depth documentation, which I really like, that helps you use the bot to its full potential. So if you look to the left here, you'll see that you actually have access to way more stuff than uh, Me6 for free. Basically, if you don't have any money, you pay for a bot. Everything that is uh, yellow, I believe, is premium and everything else is just Free. So it's a great alternative. But again, I advise you using multiple bots. Another one that I don't have much to say about because I've never actually tried it, but I heard a lot of people say good things about it is uh, ProBot. You can find it at ProBot.io. To me, it kind of looks like a simpler version of uh, Me6, but don't quote me on that. I have no idea. But if you want things like uh, React roles, leveling up, welcome messages, embeds, then uh, this bot also does it. So yeah, I really wanted to include it just to, to make sure you have all the information possible. Look at that. There's a leveling system too. But I have no idea what's behind premium and what's not. I'll let you figure it out. Carl, Carl, Coral, Coral bot. <laughs> it's also pretty popular. And at some point it was the preferred bot to do reaction roles. As you can see here, high limits, 250 roles. If you want that somehow <laughs> in your server, you can do that. I'm not going to lie. The only reason I've tried this was just for just for that. We can see here that it has a robust logging system. So if you have a decent sized server with a couple moderators, it'll tell you, hey, this person removed that person, which is pretty nice. It also does moderation. It's pretty important. It seems to integrate one of those like free stuff bots basically that tells you which games are currently free on uh, certain websites like Steam, Epic Games and all that. There's also a suggestion system. Your members can suggest stuff and you can, you know, keep them updated on your decision about that suggestion. Hey, blah, 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 permissions, blah, 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 auto mod also. Well, not blah, blah, blah. That's kind of important that it does auto mod. And they're saying that their custom commands is powerful enough to create Conway's game of life. Do I know what that is? Not really. But the fact that you can make commands into games, that's saying something. I mostly used it for the reaction rules and also the um, and also the Twitch ping system. So it tells you when a certain user goes live. But I believe that's limited, at least in the free version. Trivia bot is uh, pretty important. Personally, not my favorite, but <laughs> we all have that one member in the Discord server that's bored and that's going to go back and forth with a bot for hours. This bot is for that specific member. So you can basically trigger a trivia. It's going to be like, hey, here's a list of categories for a trivia and it's going to ask you some questions you're going to have an amount of time to respond and all of that. And it gamifies your server a little bit. At least you put it in its own channel and it's pretty nice. Now, that being said, there are some prizes. The global winner of each month's trivia can win a month's Discord Nitro. But that's something. You can also configure the bot to give custom roles. So let's say you create a role that's like trivia winner or big brain. People can win it by winning, I don't know how many rounds of trivia. Having a free public leaderboard is also pretty nice. And that's what it's going to look like. That's pretty cool. And most importantly, multiple languages are supported, which is very nice. So earlier I talked about a bot that tells you which games are free. The one that I personally use for that purpose is free stuff bot, free stuff bot dot XYZ. And this one is pretty cool because when you go to the settings, you can tell it exactly what type of games you want to have alerts for. Like, is it free to play for a certain period or is it just free to download and to own until a certain period? You know, do you want uh, certain platforms like Epic, Steam, Goog, whatever that is? Or do you want only Steam or do you want only Epic? It's pretty cool. I, I was using a different bot before, but it would only tell me Epic Games and Steam and I didn't like that. One thing I'll say is that they have this one annoying feature during like April's Fools. <laughs> and it basically will tell you that a game that you like is free right now. And when you click on it, it'll be like, oh, April Fool's. But the good news is you can deactivate that. Now, since I have it in a couple of my servers, I can actually show you what that looks like. So here you can see uh, free to play until, and this is like Dying Light on, on Steam right now. This one says free, free. So, you know, it's free, free. Basically, like that's the time period you have to put it in your cart and, and download it or just add it to your library before it becomes not free anymore. But yeah, if something is just free to play, it'll tell you it's just free to play. But afterwards, you'll have to play to I have to pay to play. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite bots, especially when it comes to multiplayer games, you and your friends can be like, hey, this is going to be free this weekend. Let's all play together. Speaking of playing together, Tatsu, 
is a bot that I haven't tried yet, but it seems to basically keep your server pretty entertaining. There's a whole thing with a global economy, so participating uh, can earn you points, can earn you whatever the currency is, and then you can have some items, you can trade items, gift items, uh, you can have your own little store where people can buy items out of you, I think. There's a pet store. There's like, you can build a house for your pets. Again, I haven't tried it yet, but I will definitely be looking into this one. And uh, maybe I'll let you know about it in the next video. All right. Are there any bots that you feel that I should have mentioned? Which bots do you use in your Discord server? Let us know in the comment section below. I might add them to a list for another video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out a ton and it guarantees that I make more videos like this one.